Lost a lot of frames there. It could be my internet. It's been very stormy and stuff, so it could be something like that going on. Okay, with the debug tool mod activated, open the console with Control C and type increase city tier. Oh, so we like sheet it to move on and we did a save here. Did I do a save? Just make sure. I'm gonna do one extra, why not? Yep, I'm gonna be typing that command, increase underscore city. Okay, there we got it. And that one. New tier two. It started new music, at least. If I had a functional language, let's say C sharp, and then they would be forced to put in a return statement that would have accepted the food. Conclusion, never use object-oriented language. <laughs> Khadzie really doesn't like that, I know. Surprising more often than letter A, it's something. So let's, if we bring this up before we do anything more, can we see then that this has changed it? This one looks a lot longer. It still says food donation on the time progression. F sharp? What is that? <laughs> is that the language? What do you think if I... Yes, let's just do an experiment. If I save the game now and I load the game, maybe? You think that would do anything? <laughs> Try IB underscore Stoneheart to create a new beta version. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, let's try a yes, save and load. Let's see if something happens. So, we're having a lot of issues with the progression, sadly. I mean, there must be some sort of way to do this. A functional language that Microsoft added to Visual Studio 2010. Oh. We oh, are almost 340 followers. Congratulations, Mbona. Could take your save file and take a look at it in depth to figure it out what. Yeah, I, I don't think I will be able to upload it now, though. Like, maybe after the stream I could do it, but um, now it's gonna be... It's gonna be too much on my internet to handle it. You wanna take a look at it maybe later, Wouter, if you have time someday? Okay, I will send later, so whenever you have uh, extra spare time, I know you have <laughs> very limited time with all the stuff going on. I will post it to you later on. But let's see what's going to happen after this load. I don't think anything is going to change, but you never know. It's still on the food donation. This one has come really far with the Goblin Ward, huh? Like, why is there no, like, if you click this one, it would be really nice if you can just re-trigger something. Like, right-click, re-trigger. 
Uh, it's going to be too much for me to upload. Like I'm, I'm streaming from my 4G internet. It's got a little bit of limited speed for it. The text, not the dots. So we can re-trigger it with the text, but how would we do it then? Except the problem is the thing you are stuck on is just a notification. Um, but isn't it possible to like re-trigger something older than? Stage finished. So, should we maybe load the game before we change that thing? <clears throat> Just so we haven't uh, added in tier 2. What do you guys think? Should we do that? Or should we just keep going with tier 2? Go way back? I don't want to do that. Even before flag choice. Oh, that is worth it. <laughs> Why can't they just make it work? Like, if you don't click it, it will just stay there. I hope they change that, because that's pretty, pretty bad. Buttons are always at the bottom of the text. So we go down here. And there should be a button down here. You mean there? Okay. Okay, so I think we move on and do some stuff then. It's a little bit frustrating when we have to focus on those things when the game can't just be better. <laughs> at that specific little thing at least. I hope they will do a fix for it. Yeah, I can send on a save upload later on. So I feel like I want to scout around maybe after this and just see if uh, they have some camps that we want to take out. Okay, this is only dirt piles, so nothing we have to think about there. And they do have a camp over here. Of course, they settled out the other side of the river. Very nice. <laughs> uh, I don't like having mobs sitting like that. It's just gonna end up something weird if you let them be there. Panther, we're talking about Stonehearth here. You know that, right? We all know it's broken. <laughs> we all know it's broken, but we all love it. That's how it is, right? Okay, we do some ladders there to get over. The attack in my hood. <laughs> we gotta take him out. But I'm hoping like, you know, in the future, maybe a few years from now, let's say like three, four years from now. I would love it to be even earlier, but it would be really nice if a new game comes up that takes Stone Hearth. Not copy-paste anything of it, but kind of do the same thing. Uh, different game engine and everything. Performance amazing, mod support and everything. That would be awesome. For how long have you been streaming? Um, I think three hours, maybe? To three hours. Three and a half. It's even more broken on the back end. Oh. <laughs> 
Gonna go place on stone half. Nice, RS. He won one of the giveaways before, and PR31 won a giveaway as well. I will be doing more of those, but uh, that's gonna be for a future stream. Lots of, we should totally do this better, comments hidden in the game. <laughs> like, can you actually find that like in the code? We should do this better, or we, we need to do this later. But I'm kind of I'm kind of used to like having games that I really 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 like and enjoy, but uh, they never get to that point where it becomes perfect. So like Stone Harf is one, and the other game is uh, Age of Conan, an MMO that I played uh, all the way since the beta. Made a lot of videos about it in the past, and uh, that game is they're not like doing anything new for it. But it has a lot of potential, but I think it's just wasted now because it's so old and it's not good PR anymore. That's pretty fun when you find this thing, right? Have you found some like really funny text added also? I was really excited when um, they were working on IDs for some uh, flying whale and stuff. Oh, we got a gift. Everyone's sleeping easier tonight. Trade returns. Oh yeah, wanna trap, not trap, wanna trade it. Okay, nice, we got some gold ingots and I think yeah, we got a comfy bed here from uh, that grizzled traveler and some other stuff. The streams are so relaxing, love it. I find it very relaxing as well and very, very nice. Such a shield community. A good, good, amazing game. Yeah, we do have A's. I'm very happy for that. I'm very grateful for the people who, have, who put their own free time with no income or whatever. I don't know if they get any, but I don't think they do. That they put their own free time to improve a game that they love for free for everyone. And I would be doing an, um, I would be doing a multiplayer livestream with this uh, game. Probably not too far from now, so I will be doing it with Faye Given again, sometime soon again. And uh, then some other time I will let... Uh, I think I will let people join some time again. It's probably going to be very messy, because the game is easily to bug out, and... The more people you are, the more it's going to bug. Can't you hear the howling? There are goblin wolves in the woods. I would love to have some... Some wolves with, like, white fur, that would be cool. Some red eyes. It's mostly stuff like making farmers actually seed, uh, actually seed based, and giving your seeds in your starting loadout instead of hard coding everything. Uh, within the AI, they have a this giant function, and then at the end, this can probably be shorter. <laughs> And uh, by the way, I'm not sure if you've seen it um, since you came in, by the way, Duncan. Like, uh, we're digging out this area here. Because we want to fit in our big house here that I made. So this one is going to go down here. It's going to be pretty nice. It's a stave shirt that I made off stream. I haven't made it inside yet, so there's still a lot of work to do on that. But uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool fitting there with the town sitting here. going to be very, very nice. Probably one of my favorite buildings I've done so far, I must say. They're really, really cool though, so I, I wish I could visit one of them in real life, it would be awesome. I think I've seen that they have some of those in Norway. I don't think we have them in Sweden, but I think they do have them in Norway. Maybe Denmark also. We need one more ladder out here. Um, I think we should. I think we should move this trapper field here. Hmm, nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. 
So uh, let's see where we want to put this trapping field. Like maybe down here. I'm not sure if the area is big enough. So we're going to trap some of these guys. I should probably continue with my northern castle. Let's build. Is it the same one you've done in the past, the big one? Or is it like a new one? Is it a goblin camp? Where is it? Should be smoke from it, right? Oh, over here? <laughs> you guys have everything in Denmark. Yeah, you even have like real beaches, I think. <laughs> Except summer. <laughs> Uh, I think they have the summer there. Like, this summer was crazy. In Sweden, it was really... I think it was like 35C or something. Really, really warm. <laughs> what was that faint message? Oh, oh, this always happens when you go out to fight, you get backstabbed. <laughs> well, I said we had the um, 35C here this summer. It was way too warm. We always get backstabbed, I also said. Well, like, when you go out to fight, there will always come a new squad in the back to fight you. So let's go back here. Yip, yip. Oh, yeah, we saved the wolves. It's probably best to rally everyone since we have these giant stone men. Where are the goblin <laughs> goblins? Where are the golems? Where are the golems at? They were down here before. Oh, actually up here, I think. Oh, he's just taking a little bath. Just wait for him, he's just enjoying a good bath. They probably have snow, but like, it's mostly for like Sweden, it's mostly like the north side of Sweden that is getting like very cold, for example. So I think Denmark should be pretty, pretty same climate as I have here. <laughs> you guys never get snow in the uh, Netherlands? Uh, that's something I actually didn't know about. Are they chasing something? Okay, I guess we'll let them get back and eat a little bit. I need to sell that stone up there, so what I'm gonna do is to craft a market stall, or maybe a few of them. So with this one we can summon the merchants, and we can sell things and buy things. And I think we might even buy, like, get more than four of these, because I have so much stone. I think we have like a thousand stone, and we really want to clear this, because we have like too much stuff in here. And we're not, probably never going to use all that stone anyway. It's like insane. Oh, look at these things. This is the no normal goblin armor token, but I also have small goblin totem. Then we have the large goblin totem. They look pretty cool. I don't think I've seen this one. I think I've seen this one, but not this one. Look pretty nice. Oh, 
What is this? Go Latiste door? The Latiste workshop... The Latiste work stops most of the hot stun. Looks pretty cool. Pretty too. I can't read now, no. I'm getting bad at reading now. Average temperature in the Netherlands 19C and Denmark is 18C. Oh, that's a huge difference. <laughs> Sometimes Denmark get a little snow in February. Way colder. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna sell some more things. Keep selling the rune stones. We look at them on the gold. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna melt that first. Because that's gonna be a lot of money. Don't need all the flowers. Don't need all these. I think if I put to sell all this stone, we're still gonna have several hundred of stone. Just that these ones are in like in the inventory. A jagged cleaver, nice. A crude ineffective weapon. Not so nice. A South American lives in Georgia. Is it hard to move it to like America nowadays? Is it hard to get like some some sort of like citizenship or something? I would guess it's not so easy, but maybe it's not, I don't know. Oh, a Streamlabs actually say it gives errors like dropped frames 10% a minute ago. Didn't know about that. Still new to Streamlabs OBS. Um, I wish there were an easy way to like see where the enemies are at. Because they could be anywhere. I don't know where all my Harflings is. But my study is probably very easy. Okay, that's nice. And if your girlfriend is there, or like if you were married, I'm not sure if you're married, but uh, then it would probably improve the chances as well. Feel like you live far away, one and a half hour. I live like, I would say maybe one hour or 30 minutes. I think it's about one hour. Like, yeah. Maybe four to five minutes. And you don't have one. <laughs> well, you don't need to have one. You can just think he said, freedom, I can do whatever I want. Not married. Get married tomorrow. We should get a tank, by the way. I haven't I haven't tried out it with the Nordlings, so that would be cool. Maybe in a few years, yeah. It's like it's nothing you should stress doing for sure. I don't feel any stress of doing it at all, to be honest. Probably it's gonna be in a few years. <laughs> I think she run. Yeah, you may be scared then. I want to marry you now. <laughs> Going to have some fun with that? With the new tank weapon? I really hope so. Okay, let me see here. I think it should be... Or did I put to craft it? I don't think I actually did so. Panto, how long have you been with your girlfriend? Um, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure exactly how many years. Maybe that's kind of bad, but I, I think it's been like three years. Something like that. She's a very nice, very nice girl. Like, she likes playing games. She likes, like, The Hobbit. She likes Lord of the Rings. Um, she likes that I do Stone Arf. She likes that I do YouTube and live streaming and everything. She so supports me in that. And 
also she wants to buy me too many things, so I'm trying to tell her not to do that. <laughs> and she's a big, big fan of uh, like you know superheroes and stuff, so that's really cool. It's actually her who got me into watching like a lot of the Marvel stuff. So after I met her, I started to watch a lot of the Mar Marvel movies, so it's awesome. Small warning, for girlfriend related purposes, remember how long? Uh, Harry Potter? I think she like it, but I, d I think she prefers like The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, your girlfriend trying to get you into superhero stuff? You showed me Wonder Woman and everything. Oh, okay. Like, I'm not like so much into DC and that stuff, more like Marvel I'm watching. But for DC, I definitely like like Batman is really nice. But Superman is like... Hmm, like I think he's a little bit maybe overpowered. <laughs> I like the old Superman though, like the real old one. You don't like superior stuff? I think that's why... I, like, I like Marvel, and then I started to watch uh, My Hero Academy, an anime, and uh, they're all, like, trying to become heroes, and it's... The first thing I thought when I watched it was like, oh, this is kind of like superhero Marvel stuff, but anime. Things pretty cool. I really love that series. Wow, okay, so something we very much need is some more storage. So I think I might do a storage house that I got prepared from before. So we can either do this one. That's, I, I had that one for a different town. Or we could do this one that we dig down. This one is very, very small. You guys think we should do the smaller one, or should we do the bigger one? This one. My Hero Academy is good, yeah, it's really, really nice. I love the music. I have a lot of trouble watching anime, whereas everyone is power, uh, overpowered. I mean, it depends, like, what anime you watch. Like, I like those when they're... Those, um cool skills and stuff, for when they're a little bit fantasy medieval-like, kinda. But I mean, there is anime that doesn't have those things at all, also. Yeah, Attack on Titan is awesome as well. I'm gonna watch the next episode tomorrow. And I wonder how many more episodes we got going for the new season. I don't think there's so many left, really. Some stories pull off overpowered character well, like, for example, One Punch Man and Overlord. I don't like Superhero, but I gave My Hero Academy a chance, fully expecting to not liking it, but I end up getting caught. Yeah, My Hero Academy is really awesome. And my brother has one of those um, feeders from it. So it's uh, Deku, one of the main characters in the series, and he has that one and he doesn't even watch it, and I want that figure from him. <laughs> An anime I really like is uh, Zero no Tsukaima, also known as The Familiar of Zero. I haven't seen that one. Love how in Monster Hunter World with the, the dual blades you can put Leva Ackerman from Attack on Titan. Spin attack, really? That's cool. It is. He is pretty OP. I feel like there's so many battles going on now, it's hard to know like where the enemies are at. There's wolves in the forest, so let's go for them. And I think I will be live streaming for a few more minutes, then I will probably go take a little bit of break from this. We have been streaming today for like three hours or four? Four hours, I think.
Hmm, I might check it out. I'm gonna print screen it so I have it. Have you seen the images of the satellite that landed the uh, Titan the moon? No, I haven't. Feel free to post them here or maybe on uh, maybe post them on our Discord channel. Space stuff is really cool. I, like every year I watch this uh, meteor shower. Uh, the Perseids, I think there would be in English, I guess. Perseidana in Swedish. So every year there's like a hundred of them an hour. Like pretty much at the end of summer. It's over now, but it's really, really awesome. Maybe you should cut down some trees to see if you're getting attacked. Yeah, that could be a pretty good idea. Maybe you should take a line here. Shove that down. And do another one here. Yes, we have a little bit more vision around these areas. Camps need to be removed. Stop the attacks. Yeah, it's just that there are so many random camps, so it's hard to find them. And they love to settle where we can't reach also. Let me know if you see a camp that I don't spot. Cut down all the trees. <laughs> Sugar cane. Okay, let's buy some food. We have so much gold. Veggie dumpling. A little bread pocket with veggie stuffed inside. Oh, that could be good, maybe. Meat dumpling, that sounds better. Mmm, yummy. I had some pulled pork today. Was very, very nice. Some cheese with that. Okay, that's gonna do for now. And Banta next map I build on lake with one exit. Oh wait, they swim, never mind. Ah, they can't swim in this game. Confused Traveler, this sounds crazy but I swear I saw an oversized pair of rabbit ears poking out. Ooh, I haven't even, I haven't seen this one in game myself. I'm behind the bush for a second on my way here. Remind me of the old tales about rabbit people, don't you think? And I think Wouter said that this was bugged with his mod Nordling Kingdom. So will I run into more issues if I do this thing? But if I ignore it, it will bug also. <laughs> hmm, maybe we should put some vegetables out. Yeah, let's put some vegetables out. Vegetables from Maybe Rabbit. Maybe Rabbit. <laughs> Yay, rabbit people! Oh, yeah, out of the Templar Pier, it was good. Nice. If you have Q-Bird, can you play it? I do have Q-Bird, I would have to... ...reclaim my password or something, because it's been ages since I played it. It works up to a point, you can do it like eight times or something. Why do I own a game called Japanese School Life? Isn't that hen that hentai game? <laughs> I don't know what the game that is. Eventually they want you to farm for them, something is wrong from that point on, okay. Okay, we give them some veggies. Now we wait. We leave the veggies out past the edge of town overnight. Wonder if they'll still be there in the morning. So where did I actually drop them? Because I have so much stuff on the ground, so I don't know what I dropped for them. There probably is enough veggies for them to eat everywhere. Take a look at it from this weekend. Nice. But uh, let's get my little storage here. I, I want to put that out because we deeply, deeply need it. 
And I'm thinking of having it in maybe this corner. I want to have... I don't want all houses to just go this way. I want some to go that way. This is the Braveheart song. This is heavily, heavily inspired by Braveheart, if you guys hear it. You can't buy an it more? Really? Did they like shut down the development something? Close the shop? Yeah, it's too much here. Like we've been mining here, so it's so much thing here and like there's not much we can do about it. Like what I guess we maybe could do. Like we still need more chests and boxes. Would be to pass everything except for hauling. So that's something we can do, but I think we should build this first. Then we could, uh, you know, start filling something up. I'm gonna change out some of these boxes to, to the stone chests instead. Freedom! Okay, let's put it here. But it's always been an issue for me, like, to have the town clean, like, you have to have enough boxes and you have to have people that is actually cleaning the city. Always get a mess in this game. And RimWorld many times also. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, we do have market stalls, we should have them. I put to craft a lot of them. But we only have two for the moment. I'm just gonna throw them like, throw them on the ground here between these houses. Maybe we can have one. We can have one sitting here. Yeah, we can sell stuff. The merchants have so little money though. If I would have gone for the other flag, we would have uh, had a lot more gold on the merchants. But these things also has to get moved because if I remember these things, like you can't trade things that isn't in like a stockpile. So they still have to like carry these things. Probably stream tomorrow. Okay, dude. Uh, I don't think I will be live streaming tomorrow. Like I could change my mind, but I don't think so tomorrow. But I will be watching in the next episode of Attack on Titan, that's for sure. Okay, so I think this one is ready to be built. Should I switch out maybe even more? Let's let's remove two more. Like I only keep some of these wooden ones because I like the aesthetics of them. Doesn't look very nice when you only have stone chests. We could I guess we could do the leather bound also. There's a nice space in those. A variation always looks better. Nope, we can't edit any finished buildings. Would be awesome if you could, but you can't. Yeah, we, we're gonna be building a harbor here. Everything has taken so long, so like we have this to do. This is probably gonna take a long time for us to even get there. And uh, I think the next thing will be the harbor, but I think that will be like for the next live stream to do. Maybe try some boats. Yeah, we can do some boats. I have done some boats before, but um, I will be doing some new ones. So I do have some here saved. I might be using. But they are not like really Viking themed, but I like how they look. It's got a universe sandbox, so I'm trying that out tomorrow. 
Okay, awesome. Call a merchant. We're gonna call more merchants. Because first this guy. So let's sell stone and we're gonna start crafting more with stone. Mithril lore, I guess we can save it now since we might have use for it. Okay, so don't think we want to sell anything more now. We have to loot a lot of things. Yeah, there's so many nice mods for it. So you're trying it out a little bit? I hope you will enjoy the game, dude. Left us veggies out overnight, and in the morning they were gone. Just like Santa. Like in Sweden, you always leave out the... I don't know what the name is, so I guess I'm gonna go Google it. The cat goddess, thank you for the hose. Good to see you tonight again. How are you doing tonight? Uh, porridge, I guess you call it like that. Porridge. 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 We're in Swedish. Yeah. Gröt. <laughs> you leave it overnight and then Santa comes and pick it up. Something we do in Sweden. I uh, gotta go watch some Attack on Titan, I'm only at episode 9. Oh, then I have a lot to watch. New episode tomorrow for the new season. Waves, waves, hello Cat Goddess, it's so nice to have you here today. Good tired, I'm also getting a little bit tired. I definitely feel like my, my head is getting a little bit tired. And um, my voice also. A little bit slow thinking now. We left those veggies out overnight, and in the morning they were gone, along with the baskets. Strange. Panting refugee. Can't you hear the howling? There are goblins and wolves in the woods. I want more with the bunnies. So we started like the bunny part of the game. Some people we will might be able to meet later on. I wonder if we can find them already or if we have to wait. Here's one of these cool crypts. I really wish the Undead had a bigger part of the game. I would love for them to have a bigger part of the game. Gotta get them all. Oh, you're gonna get the Roman mod? <laughs> of course you will. Uh, let's send the troops over here. I wanna take these guys out. He was watching hentai instead of an anime. <laughs> oh. I had this error message before, by the way. Already sent this one to... to the developers. Oh yeah, that one is done, I saw it. We're gonna promote. Attempt at a fancy building, I failed pretty badly. Oh, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. And look at this house the cat got us. This is a house we will be building soon. Maybe not like, probably not tonight, you know, but maybe in the next live stream we'll be putting it because we're gonna drop it down here. Where the stone is now. So we're gonna have the stave church down there, it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, well, an undead quest is probably possible somewhere down the road. Sounds nice. Like the undead, uh, they're so weak. Like this necromancer, I think it should be way tougher than it is. It's yeah, he's just too easy to take out. And I wondered, all of these guys are barbarians, which means they can't wield any armor, so that's not a good tank, you know. So we have to train up a new one. Uh, Geir Hastein, that's gonna be our new warrior. 
and future knights? You took the basket, Kratze? Damn you! Was it any Templar, Templar in it? The Templar drinks? Oh, pretty. Thank you. Match the maximum fans of that big one. Is the chat really delayed for me something? It looks like I have a lot of dropped frames. I wonder if it's because I'm using the low latency thing on, the, on Twitch maybe? DMA level 4 villager, awesome! And the next thing we will be building for this town, because this is a big project, like the inside is not done on this one, so there's a lot of work to do. But the next project is definitely to do a harbor. Because that's a lot of a smaller, smaller mission to do. Oh, he's alone here. Maybe he will prove his worth being alone here, to be a future knight. Oh yeah, your rune stones as well. Just that I wonder how I want to have them, and we have to move these things. And also, I don't know where the center is going to be of this yet. So if I put them out, I probably have to move them later. But I guess that would be easy because we have the box command to, which is, by the way, one of I would say one of the best like useful mods in the game for now. So the blacksmith is going to be sitting up here, our Larsina. Really laggy for the minutes or so. I have like in Streamlabs where, Streamlabs OBS where live stream, I had a lot of dropped frames. Pretty much for 30 minutes. And I'm not sure why I'm dropping them. Like, there's no more info about it. Does it have to do with internet? I'm guessing it has to do with internet. City on the water, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe I could try turn off the low latency thing. I don't know. It could just be my internet. It's, I live stream from my 4G internet, and before I always live stream from my mobile phone. Probably the only guy who live streams from my mobile phone. <laughs> Because I don't have any like other options. They're gonna build out like faster internet here, but currently we only have like the fastest you can get like into the house that is not like wireless is an uh, six megabit DSL connection with 0 0.5 megabit upload. So the 4D is a lot better, but it can fluctuate a lot. Like sometimes you can go from one megabit upload to like 15 megabit of upload. He doesn't have a shield. And who doesn't have a shield? Do you mean uh, the one who's gonna do a tank? Uh, he's currently only a uh, normal footman. So he still have to go to a uh, level three, Uskal, to get the Einharjar Ein axe. I think the chat is so behind. <laughs> because Wouter talked about the box command tool now, and I think I said it like five minutes ago.
Like, it could be... maybe it's just Twitch, I don't know. Oh, wow. Get some invaders, some undead, I'm gonna deal with them. So it's several minutes delay on Twitch now, that's interesting. Like, I use low latency and it's more latency, it makes no sense. So I'm gonna be leaving the stream now, and I will be back soon. I might stream tomorrow, but the leanest towards there will no be, there will not be in a stream tomorrow. But uh, next week I'll be streaming more again for sure. So guys, thanks for being here today. I will be on uh, this video will also be on YouTube, so I hope you guys can enjoy that. So. Thanks for being here today, guys, and the really weird problems we had. Okay, guys, so it ended a little bit weird with a lot of delay and a lot of stuff like that, so... But I will see you guys soon again, so thanks for all of the subscription today, all the donation and all of the follows and everything and all the hosting. So thanks for being here today and I will see you guys soon again. Someday soon I will announce on Twitter, join our Discord and check out my YouTube channel as well. So see you guys, thanks for being here today.